Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do my 2023 tomato taste test video. Um, Dell, I have, for those of you who are new here, welcome. I have two gardens. I have one at my house in southeastern Wisconsin, which is zone 5A, and I have one in central Wisconsin, which is zone 4B. Uh, the one in central Wisconsin is a farm garden. That one is much bigger. It's uh, 40 feet by 70 feet. And the one here at home is all raised beds. So I don't have very many tomatoes planted here. Uh, I did most of them up at the farm garden where I have the room. And um, two days ago, I picked, I did a massive picking of all the tomatoes. Now, here, down here in southeastern Wisconsin, we have had very hot, very dry summer, um, along with a lot of the Midwest. And uh, it's been really hard to keep things watered here, especially in a raised bed. I mean, raised beds are really nice, but they're really hard to keep watered, to tell you the truth, because the ground is raised minor 12 inches above the regular ground and it, it's just hard because they dry out fast. Um, but I do have a few plants here and the rest of them are up at the farm garden. Now, I will say that I lost my seed packets. I have no idea where I put them. I'll probably find them as soon as I finish recording this video. But um, if you wanna see the seed packets, I did a video earlier in the year showing which tomatoes I was growing and I show all the seed packets there. So maybe I'll get a hint as to where they are if I go back and watch that video. Um, also, I did record a few videos early, like the first ripe tomato, that kind of thing. Uh, so I'm gonna put those in here as well. And the other thing is in the farm garden, which is in central Wisconsin and points north because uh, we have friends that have gardens even further north. There's one in Wausau, one up near Manaqua, if you know Wisconsin. It's up in the north woods. Um, people are having problems with their tomatoes ripening. They're just not ripening. And I've got one variety that has not ripened. It's loaded full of tomatoes, but I have all green tomatoes and um, it's early September. So I hope I will get red tomatoes off that plant before the frost comes because the frost comes early in that part of town. So let me show you the clips I did earlier and then we'll come back here and do the, toma the tomato taste test that I, of the tomatoes that I picked just a few days ago, okay? So the first large tomato of the season, yeah cat face. <laughs> so I knew this was coming because, you know, you can't miss these tomatoes when they're on the vine. But um, this is strawberry ox heart. So ox hearts are one of my favorite tomatoes. And I'm about to do a bunch of meal prepping. So I'm going to need tomatoes for my salad. Guess what I get to have on mine. So I'm gonna, this is the thing, I usually pick these blooms off because they are just hard to cut. How do I wanna do this? Let's go here. So I can't show you the inside. I'll make another cut, hold on a second. Mmm. We've waited a long time for this. Yummy, 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 very fruity. Mmm. Great tomato flavor. A little acidic. So good. Let's see if I can get like the center here. So good. Yeah. So it's gonna kinda look like that there. In the middle. I'm gonna have a hard time just not eating this whole thing. Pretty good skin on this. 
Mm. Very pronounced tomato flavor, very fruity. <clears throat> so there you go, first tomato. I'll see you in a second for the second. So the second tomato we're gonna be testing is called Martha Washington. Um, I'm inside because it's raining outside. We've gotten two and a half inches of rain so far today. So let's hope it does some good. Um, Martha Washington is a hybrid tomato. And I wanna show you the difference in these tomatoes. So this is the Martha Washington I'm getting from my garden, my home garden. This is the Martha Washington I'm getting from the farm garden. Find a round one. Look at the difference. Can you believe that? It's funny, when I was at the farm garden, I was digging around trying to find the tag for these tomatoes because I didn't think, you know, I've been getting these. And I didn't, I didn't know what these were. I thought maybe they were one of the ones I got from the greenhouse. So it's just amazing the difference. So let's taste the ones from my garden first. I forgot to grab my knife. Where is the camera? There. That's what they look like inside. And then which one do we want to do? We'll do this one. They look exactly the same inside. Whoop, dripping juice. Oh, they smell really good. They do. So, from my home garden. They're kind of a funky flavor. I mean, there's tomato flavor there, but it's, it's not sweet, it's not acidic. Mmm, a little acidic. Let me try one of these other ones. Yeah, they all taste the same. All right, now I'm going to try a piece of this. One from the farm garden. Cleanse palette. Tastes exactly the same. This one's a little more acidic. It doesn't really have, I mean, it's a hybrid tomato. It can't compete with the, you know, the heirloom tomatoes. One thing I will say about this plant, the tomatoes are consistent. On mine, home garden, these, they're the, exactly the same size, all of them. They are, blemish free they're not cracking there's like no cracks in these um same with the ones that well no there's a little bit of cracking with the ones at the farm garden but they've been getting some pretty big downpours there Yeah, if you don't like a real sweet tomato, you would probably like this one. Because they're um, not sweet at all. They have a pretty good tomato flavor, but they're not sweet at all. So yeah, that's Martha Washington. Now I've got one more here. I have to figure out what it is. I can't figure out what it is. It's this one. This looks like Abe Lincoln, but I'm not sure. Because uh, 
this might be, I think I grew a, some kind of beef stick. I'll put the name of it down below. Whatever it is, it's a beef steak tomato. So let me take a test. Mmm. That's awful. It's really awful. Yeah, it just blah. Very blah. It's definitely not sweet. Doesn't have a lot of tomato taste. I mean, it's not so bad I wanna spit it out, but it's awful. <laughs> we don't have very many of those. It'll be interesting to see, because at the time I'm recording this, uh, there were a lot of green tomatoes and very few red ones. So this is one of the first red ones from that whatever plant it was. So, you know, and the difference, like this is the last ox heart I got. And I did, you probably saw the ox heart one already. Huge. The one, the ox hearts, these are strawberry ox heart. The ox hearts that I have in my garden are uh, huge, just huge. Poor tomatoes this year. Oh, I didn't, I cut it the wrong way. You saw the other one. So I want to taste this, get that taste of the other one in my, out of my mouth. This one tastes different. This is almost floral. It almost tastes floral. Oh well, they'll all be good in sauce, right? So that's what I have so far. I have a couple paste tomatoes, but I'm not gonna taste those um, today. I'll wait until they're a little more ripe and taste those. So, yep, that's all I'm going to do for today, I think. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna do for today. All right, I'll see you in a second. I found another one. This is Cherokee Carbon. Now this is the first one off the plant. So I'll probably do another taste test as these become um, more, as they more start to ripen. So this is what it looks like. This one's been beat up. Yep, pretty beat up, but we're gonna cut it open. As long as I have it here, If I can do this with it dripping it all over my kitchen floor. It smells good. We'll see. You guys are disappointing today. Mmm. 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 Yummy. Uh, not sweet at all. Lots of tomato flavor. Lots. You know, I think in all the years I've been growing tomatoes, I've never successfully grown a black tomato. And the cherry ones, yes, but this is the first time I've ever grown a black tomato and gotten a ripe tomato. Mmm. A little acidic. You know, it gets you right here. Just massive tomato flavor. Yeah, that's a good one. Like if you want a strong tomato flavor. Tomato flavored tomato. That's a really good one. All right, I think that's all I have. Let me find out. I have another one. That one has a little more sweetness to it. It's funny how tomatoes off the same plant can taste different. It 
So yeah, that one's like not nearly as much tomato flavor, but it has a lot of, a little more sweetness to it. Not a lot, but a little more sweetness to it. So we'll see as the plant matures and it starts producing mature tomatoes, how it does. All right, so I will see you in a few seconds. So that's how those turned out. Um, how do I want to do this? Let's go from smallest to largest, I think. That sounds, that sounds like a plan, yeah. So it's about 100 degrees here today. It's just this weather, I tell you. First one, Galena's Cherry. This is one of my favorite tomatoes. Um, they're abundant on the plant. Um, no cracking at all with these tomatoes. Um, we've been getting our rain in bunches. Like, it won't rain for weeks, and then we'll get two inches. And then it won't rain for weeks, and then we'll get one and a half inches, you know, and it's just ridiculous. And these do not crack, so. This one. That's what they look like inside. These are delicious. I've been eating them. Every time I pass by the plant, I pop one in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Very fruity, a little sweet, a little acidic. I like the perfect balance. They're your typical yellow tomato, fruity, good tomato flavor. They're really good tomato plants. So. They're all very uniform in size. Really good tomato plant. The next one is my, probably my favorite tomato that I grow. Well, I shouldn't say that. Of the small fruited tomatoes. Did I just say that about the Galenus cherry? <laughs> I think I did. Okay, so this is Brandy Sweet Plum. These tomatoes are a little, they're like, they're a small fruited tomato, but they have, they eat like a big tomato. That's what they eat like. They're just, they're sweet, they're sour, not sour, sour, but they're not real, real sweet. They have a beautiful tomato flavor. Beautiful mouthfeel. Um, yeah, they're really a nice tomato. Really nice. They're, they're just the perfect tomato. What else are my small ones? So the next one is called Grape Tomato. This seed I got from Tomato Growers Supply, I think it's called. It was my last seed from that packet. So let me cut it this way. And then I'll do another one, cut it the other way. So, that one's not quite right. It's inside. Sweet. Not a whole lot of tomato flavor, but it is there. Pretty tough skins. Chewy skins. B, go away. Go pollinate something. Very good. Very, very good. I may end up having to buy that seed over again. Because for a grape tomato, a very prolific plant, most grape tomato plants are. You get some that are shaped like pears.
Yeah, but they're really good. So what are the other small ones? Oh, oh, these are called Indigo Rose. Now these I bought from a greenhouse up by the farm. I keep squishing them. I put them in the towel to dry them off and I squish them. So these have a black top. Some of them just have black on them. I don't know if you can see that. Like that. These again are pretty big cherry tomatoes. These have a wonderful flavor. Fruity. Again, these are a tomato that eats like a bigger tomato. That one didn't have any flavor. That one was really sour. <laughs> These have a lot of tomato flavor. They're a little bit sweet, a little bit tangy. Um, skins aren't too, too thick on them. They do split if you get a big, heavy rain. Really good tomato. I know um, one of my girlfriends that I give um, my extra tomato plants to. She, that's her favorite, is the indigo rose. And there's another black one here. And this one is called Midnight Snack. Focus, focus, Midnight Snack. These range in color with the black on them to these. It's hard to tell these and indigo rose apart. Here's the inside. Indigo rose, midnight snack. So these look like more like a black tomato does with the green insides. That's... Mm. That one's tangy. Let's grab another one. Mm. Tastes the same. Very tangy. Very fruity. Thicker skins than the indigo rose. A little acidic, not too bad. More tangy than acidic. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So those are good. Okay, I think that's all the small fruited ones. Oh no, I have a mystery tomato. Or were these the mystery tomatoes? Okay, so now I'm going to taste test the paste tomatoes. Um, I did three varieties of tomatoes. I did plum regal, um, Amish paste, and San Marzano. The plum regal and the San Marzano, I got those seeds from Johnny's. I, the Plum Regal, I got these seeds from Pine Tree Seeds. Um, the Plum Regals are not even close to being ripe. 
not even close. They're they're green as green can be and they're loaded the plants are just loaded but there's no ripe tomatoes on them they're just starting to show a hint of blush on them so i'm going back up there in a couple weeks they should be ready i'll do a taste test and tack it on to the end of this video but let's do amish paste first these are big paste tomatoes big so there's my hand so they're about four and a half inches big tomatoes let's cut one of these open there's the inside of plum regal they're not very good I've grown these before and they were really good. That one was better. I cut open another one. That was better. Very meaty. I mean, if you look at the way I cut this one. Very meaty. They have a pronounced tomato flavor not acidic um thicker skins which most paste tomatoes do mm. let's just say they'll fill up your sauce pans or they'll add meat to your sauce pans so then what we're gonna do San Marzano, typical shaped tomato. Look at these, completely hollow. Cut them the other way. I don't think these ones are ripe. I've got one here that's pretty ripe. He's not ripe. I'm gonna have to let these sit for a week before I use them. Very fruity. Very fruity, slight tomato flavor. You know, I'm gonna have to combine these with other tomatoes to get a full tasting tomato flavor on these. Yeah, a little disappointed in those. They're not your typical San Marzano. Here's another one. They're almost dry on the inside. I mean, it's been dry out, but we've been watering the garden. Mm, they're not very good. 